Jai Indoto. This is Ananya, your master teacher at Vedantu for social science. How are you all? I'm sure you guys are taking very good care of yourself. So, Bacho, today we are going to start with a very new subject that is economics. And in economics, we are going to start with the very first chapter that is the story of village Palampur. Now, I know you have a question, sir. Till last year, we were only studying uh, history, then uh, civics, then geography. This time, we have got a new subject altogether in SST. And yes, we have got a new subject in SST and that is economics. So guys, let me give you a brief idea. Like in history, like we study about the past events. In uh, civics, we study about uh, citizens' rights, citizen duties. And uh, in uh, geography, we study about the physical features, the climate, and all these stuffs. In <coughs> Sorry. In a similar way, guys, in economics, we are going to study about something related to money. Like uh, how the things are produced, how they are manufactured, how the things are distributed, how it is consumed by the people, and all these stuffs. Something which is related to money. That is what is economics. All right, so guys, in the very first chapter of your economics, we are going to study about this, uh, uh, the story of village Palampur. Now, most of the students get confused and a very, co very simple question which is asked to me, a very common question which is asked to me every time, sir, where is Palampur village? Guys, Palampur is an imaginary village. All right, so guys, what is imaginary? In Hindi, we call it as Kalpanik. Okay. So why we are studying this village guys, why we are here to study about the story of a particular village which is also imaginary. Okay. So let me tell you guys why we are going to study this particular chapter and what are we going to gain from this chapter. Alright. First of all guys, let me tell you one uh, amazing song guys, Mere Desh Ki Dharti. It was by Manoj Kumar. Uh, guys, this song was released, I guess, in 1959, somewhere in 1959. And uh, this song got the best lyrics uh, award in Filmfare Award. Uh, song for the best lyrics. Yes. So, definitely, guys, after this session, try to listen to this song, Mere Desh Ki Dharti. It's a very beautiful song. Alright, guys. So, are we going to study about this song? Definitely, no. So, guys, what are we going to study? Just wait, I will be telling you. First of all, guys, everyone is aware that India is an agrarian country. What is the meaning of agrarian country? India is an agricultural country. Means the backbone of Indian economy is based on agriculture. So is it like that everyone is involved into agricultural activities? No. Guys, agriculture is the major occupation of the people in India. But guys, many people are also involved into the other activities. Like if we take an example of agricultural activities, it comes under primary occupation. Do you remember there are three major occupations, primary, secondary and tertiary. Alright, so agriculture like it comes under primary occupation. There are other sets of occupations as well, like secondary occupation in which we do manufacturing. In tertiary occupation, uh, people are involved into service sector like banking, transportation, tourism, hotel industry, so on and so forth. But what I mean to say that majority of the people in India are involved into agricultural activities. All right. But other than agricultural activities also, there are people who are involved into other activities as well. So how it is associated with Palampur village, which is an imaginary village, which is a Kalpanik village. Kalpanik is a, is a Hindi term for imaginary. Now, guys, with the help of this Palampur village, the things which I'm going to teach you in this chapter is this factors of production. My dear students, this is a this is the most important part of this chapter. Basically, this is the only important part of this chapter factors of production. So basically in this chapter, I'm going to teach you these four factors of production by taking into consideration village Palampur. So through village Palampur, we are going to understand these factors of production. Now I know you have a question, sir, what do you mean by factors of production? Do you have this question? Don't worry. I will solve your problems. Guess what is the one of factor of production or factors of production? To produce anything, 
we need these four things okay let me make it simple let's take an example uh, i have this chocolate in my hand theek hai uh, by the way i like dark chocolates in fact i love dark chocolates all right so let's take an example guys if i want to manufacture this chocolate if i want to produce this chocolate what do i need i need these four factors of production land labors capital and entrepreneur now what is land guys do we need a land to establish the factory simple okay we need labors to work in the factories all right and everyone is aware this is my hidden talent i am artist so this is my hidden talent by the way agar main teacher na hota to definitely main ek artist hota all right so guys we need labors to work in the factories right third we need capital now my dear students there are two forms of capital there are two types of capitals fixed capital and working capital now what is fixed capital like for example machines comes under fixed capital and what is working capital like raw materials comes under working capital money comes under working capital all right guys everything we are going to understand in detail in the coming sessions all right because this chapter this session is basically an introductory session for this entire chapter like what are we going to learn in this entire chapter i'm just giving you a basic idea in the next sessions definitely i'm going to give you i'm going to explain every topic in detail all right then finally who will provide all these things to us land labor capital that is fixed capital working capital it will be provided by a person and that is known as entrepreneur all right guys always remember one thing without these factors of production we cannot manufacture anything we cannot produce anything we need land we need labor we need capital and we need entrepreneur so be it producing this chocolate be it producing this uh, spec uh, specs or be it producing uh, the jhumka shilpi ma'am are you guys understanding so agar hame koi bhi cheez produce karne if we want to produce anything we need these four factors of productions all right and i am going to teach you guys these four factors of production in detail in the coming sessions by taking an example of palampur village all right so it is a very interesting chapter guys this is a very first chapter from your cbse 9th grade first chapter of your economics all right great great so guys before i move ahead with the uh, the next part i want you guys to listen to our pro subscription i know guys many of my students who are listening to me right now they are already my long term batches you guys are already enrolled to long term batches but there might be few students who are not aware about vedantu about our platform so let me introduce our platform that is vedantu guys if you join vedantu if you enroll to vedantu if you take our pro subscription what are the benefits first of all guys vedantu is giving you a promise and this promise you will never get from any of the offline or any of the online institute the promise which we are going to give you what is that promise before i tell you that i just want you to listen to the advantages if you join vedantu what are the advantages first of all you will find unlimited live classes yes you have heard it right you can attend unlimited live classes and guys you are already aware you guys keep on telling us menti 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 in the live chat right guys let me tell you in our live classes we take four to five times menti in a single session of every subject and while you attempt all these quizzes you actually participate with the students throughout the world because students in vedantu are not only from different states they come from different countries also so just look at the competition you have not only this guys if you miss out the session due to any reason like um, due to power cut or uh, if you guys are attending any family function if you miss out the session you can watch the replays and those replays are going to be interactive bachcha do you know what is interactive replays you can actually participate in the quizzes and find your name on leaderboard while watching the replays yes now you have a question sir what about notes guys the problem of notes is also solved 
because when you join Vedantu, you get an access to all the notes which are written by the master teachers. You can download all the notes written by the master teachers. Simple as that. Now, the biggest question which comes in the minds of the students, sir, what about doubts? How can you solve our queries? Guys, during the session, all your doubts are being solved. Try to understand, guys, over on Vida, on YouTube, it is very, very difficult for you guys to ask us doubts, right? You find it very, very difficult. But over there, all your doubts are solved during the class, during the session. Continuously, tests are taken, assignments are given to you. And not only this, guys, when you enroll to our long-term batches, you get an access to micro courses and crash courses. What are micro courses, guys? Let's take an example. You want to attempt any one chapter of any subject once again. Okay, so you can separately enroll to those micro courses and those are going to be unlimited. So there are students who actually pay for these micro courses and crash courses. You will be getting all these micro courses and crash courses for absolutely free. So just imagine guys, you are getting more and more number of classes with less of the price. So how to get all these advantages? It's very simple. There is a link given in the description box and also you will find the very first comment. Okay, just click on that link. You will be redirected to our website. Cool and one amazing thing, if you guys are not aware, if you apply my coupon code as AD Pro, you will get additional 10% off. Additional 10% off, yes. So guys, these are our plans. There are three different plans. Whatever benefits I said you now, all those benefits are available in our Pro Light subscription. All right. And one amazing thing is like, if you look at this price for 30,000, that is for entire year. That is for entire year. But you can try it for one month also. The price for one month is 2,300. Acha, what about my code? If you apply that code AD Pro, what will happen? Look at the price. For one month, it is 2,300. If you apply my coupon code as AD Pro, the price will come down to 2,070. Same goes for one year plan also. All right. So guys, we have got different plans, Pro Classic, Pro uh, Plus subscription. Every plan has got some extra advantages. My personal suggestion would be at least try to uh, enroll for our Pro Light subscription and at least try it for one month. That is what my suggestion would be. If you want to take for entire year, that is up to you. But my personal suggestion would be at least try it for one month. Get the experience and let me guarantee you, you will not regret. All right, guys. So what promise we are giving you? Let me tell you guys a promise which no other offline or no other online institute will ever give you. The promise is if you feel there has been no progress or as per your expectation, there is no progress. We will return your fees back. Simple as that. And yes, you have heard it right. Means the fees which you have given to Vedantu, we will return your complete fees back. Like you were expecting a 5% rise, 10% rise, 15% increase. And after the entire year, if you feel that there has been no progress as per your expectation, we will return your fees back complete fees back without asking any question and that is a promise Vedantu is giving you guys so this is the reason why you should enroll to Vedantu guys but this promise is only available when you will take our entire long term batches for one year all right but we need a small commitment from your end what is that commitment minimum 75 percent of the classes should be attended and the tests which are given to you Minimum 75% should be attempted. If you guys give us such commitment, then we are giving you promise. All right. Guys, the batches are already started. And let me tell you, I personally teach on all those batches. And guys, it is not like when you enroll to Vedanto, you will only attend social science classes. No, you automatically get enrolled to the other subjects as well. Exactly. All right. So do not waste much time. Go ahead enroll to our batches and be a part of my long term batches. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's session. If yes, do not forget to hit the like button. And if you are new on our YT channel, make sure that you guys are subscribing to our channel and also share this video with your friends and say them that Chintu sir is teaching you social science. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you had a great time with me. 
in the coming sessions i am going to teach you guys this chapter in detail and we will be understanding about the factors of production in detail those four factors of production land labor capital and entrepreneur all right thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next lecture till then take very very good care of yourself bye bye take care